From today workout I'm gonna try to hit my chest. So I'm trying to do uh, a couple, couple of exercises uh, uh, for my chest using the resistance bands and uh, I hope uh, they're gonna give me a really good pump. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using it, what kind of resistance bands I have, what dumbbells I have and what kettlebells and whatever equipment I have home and uh, after that we're gonna start working out, alright? Let's go! Alright, so this is my small corner. I think the most important are the, those resistance bands because you can use it for legs, you can use it for upper body, you can use it for everything. They're pretty cool, they have handle and you can attach one or two, you can increase the resistance, it depends on your uh, fitness level. I love them. Uh, also I have those uh, Abel, which I used to sponsorship for them. They are pretty cool, they have rolls here and you can put it on the floor and you can roll it. And also you can use it doing abs, you can use it doing glutes, you can use it for a lot of other things. Yeah, it's, they are pretty cool. I believe you can check them to see how it is. Uh, a really important for my workout is this kettlebell. It's a 53 pound kettlebell. You can do a lot of exercise. I post a lot of videos doing the kettlebell. I have um, very, very small resistance bands. These resistance bands, I'm not really using it. Um, this is really good for glutes, really good for your hip thrust exercises, it's really good for your uh, lower body workout. Um, I have a rope, which I'm, I'm never using it. Two dumbbells, 35 pounds each. Also, I have a, a really good um, resistance band, which I, I'm going to use it today doing push-ups. I have a Tyrex which I can use at home, but I never use at home. So I'm going in the park and I'm using it in the park. Tyrex is really cool, I like it. It's most of the body weights exercise. Yeah, so basically this is what I have and I love this mat. This mat is pretty cool. I ordered on Amazon, it's pretty cheap. If I remember 26 bucks or something like this. It's kind of six pieces, pretty big. And uh, it's pretty thick but not too thick, you know what I mean? Like, it's normal. I don't want to be like very, very thick. This is normal. All right, guys, let's start. Let's do the workout. We're gonna start with some incline uh, push-ups here on the couch. I don't really use uh, the resistance band use, uh, doing push-ups, so I don't know what is my level. I don't know which one uh, I can use it, but we're gonna learn. So I'm gonna try it and see if the resistance is too light, I'm gonna change it. The resistance is too heavy, the same, I'm gonna change it. So, I'm usually like to go very wide to use my pack, all right? I'm not going close because close, you're gonna use your triceps a lot. But this time, I'm gonna try to go somewhere in the middle, right here, all right? And really important is when you go, when you press, try to think like, you have to bring those elbows together and squeeze your chest really hard. Like you see, I'm squeezing my chest really hard and come back. It's really important uh, when you do push-ups to keep the tempo, slowly concentric, hold the gravity, keep the muscle in tension, keep your chest in tension when you go down slowly, slowly. Hold, be in an isometric position and then press and concentric go fast all right so i'm gonna try to go fast on a concentric movement so it's gonna be like i'm gonna do like one two three hold one one boom one two three hold one one two boom let's see how the first set gonna look like let's go all right
Whew. All right, I did 12 reps. Whew. I really, really feel it. Okay, so for the next next set, I'm trying to use one of the resistance band, the black one, which is like uh, the heaviest. And uh, I don't know how it's gonna be, but uh, let's see. So usually, I like to do to put the resistance bands right below my controllers, but this time. I want to try using it inside, inside of my arms. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna adjust because it's very light. And I'm gonna roll the resistance bands on my fist once, like this. All right, to make the resistance harder. And let's see. was pretty good so I feel like these resistance bands is not enough for me so for the next set I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna bring another one so I'm gonna make it double so I put two resistance bands I hook it together and I'm gonna put it on top of my shoulders around my arms right here like this have to be below your shoulders blade and I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter it feels pretty tight and let's go let's see let's take the position put the hands of the on the edge if I'm losing I'm losing I'm gonna reset myself and put it together we're just learning how to do it and let's go take the position let's go pretty tight I can go heavier next set Was pretty tight. Chest feel pretty pumped after two sets. One exercise of two sets. I'm gonna do one more set. The same exercise, a different resistance band. I'm gonna take the heaviest one. All right. I'm gonna use uh, this uh, resistance band. It's different than the other one. Let's do the last set. Let's see how it is. Again, I'm gonna go take the position right in front of my car, sitting on my knees. Try to put the resistance bands around my shoulders. Let's see. Huh? Like this. It's right be below my shoulders blade. I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna put the hands down. Uh, I'm losing it's too much tension. Let me try inside. Alright, I think this one, this, this way is better. Alright, inside my arms. Let's see. 
Ooh, this is heavy. Push-ups. I'm gonna do it right here on my mat. We're gonna do three sets, the same tempo, three seconds down, one second hold, one seconds up. Engage the chest, connect the brain with the chest. Make sure you do that. And I wanna take the position here. All right, let's see. Got hook together. Rub it from here, point on all my shoulders. Those give me a really, really good pump. Look at my chest. Woo. Damn. Woo. Looks so good. So for the next set, I'm gonna add another resistance band here. I'm gonna hook it with those two together. It's a, you know, it's a little bit uncomfortable in the beginning. The bands are coming. I try to roll over in your back and come over when you go down and you find a way to hold it, it's gonna be pretty easy. Well, that's why we're doing this. We're trying to learn, right? And uh, if the thing doesn't work, you stop and reset and adjust and grab the resistance band or add more. So it's always a way to, to do it, a way to improve yourself. But the important thing is like, what do you choose? You choose to sit on the couch and watch Netflix and get very depressed because everything, whatever happens outside, or you want to work out, put the music loud, enjoy your music. I know it's hard, it's, it's gonna be hard in the beginning. You're gonna have a lot of pain. You're not gonna see results really fast. You're gonna be sore. You're gonna try to quit, but everything gets hard in the beginning. Whatever you do, it's hard in the beginning. So once you pass that phase, it's gonna be like your lifestyle. It's gonna be so easy and very enjoyable. And then you're gonna start seeing the difference in your body. Your biceps get bigger, your shoulders get round, your chest is getting shape. You say, oh wow, I like that. And then you're gonna feel like if you don't hit the muscle proper when you work out, you're gonna say, oh my God, I didn't work out properly. So you're gonna get involved, involved in what you work out every day, every day, every day, all the time, all the time. And in the end of the year, you're gonna say, oh my God, look at me. I'm very confident, the, the clothes fit me well. So this is all about. And also keeps you very healthy, right? And this is all about. So now let's go for the second set. Oh, this is pretty, pretty hard. Uh, let's see, let's take the position, let's see how the resistance band's gonna stay on my back. And you know what, let me try inside this time. Let me try inside like this. All right. Give me a sec. Okay, 
we're finished. Let's go. Much better. Much, much better. I'm sweating like crazy. Last set, I'm gonna choose the, the heaviest resistance bar which I have. It looks like uh, it's much better if I'm using the resistance band inside of my arms, right here, than outside of my arms, right here. Because if I'm putting outside, it's rolling. So I don't like that. Cool. Let's do the last set. Chest is pumped. Looks good. I'm sweating. Look at this. Woo. Amazing. Let's go. Last set. I'm gonna put the resistance bands around me. All right. Perfect. Taking the position. Woo. This is pretty heavy. All right. Let me do this. Better like this. Let's see. Woo. Let's go. joke Woo. Woo. perfect all right short break let's go to the decline for decline we're gonna do three sets uh, but now I'm gonna put the resistance bands around me inside because I don't want the resistance band to roll over me. remember slowly down three seconds down one seconds hold one seconds up cool let's see Woo. First thing first, sit on your knees. Take the position. All right. All right, and then put the legs up and let's go. Crazy. Woo. I stopped by 10. I get up to 12. Woo. That's insane. Woo. But you know what? I'm happy with that, even if I do two less. And for sure, next set, I'm gonna add another resistance band. So I'm gonna make it even heavier. I don't care if I'm going for eight reps instead of 12, but I want to force my chest a little bit. Oh, feels so good. Now make sure you drink some water between sets. And uh, let's go for the next set. 
So uh, we are on the last set of push-ups. We did incline, we did uh, normal, and now we're doing the decline. It's the last set of the decline. So I'm gonna use the heaviest resistance band. Let's take the position right here. pretty hard chest is pretty pumped look at my chest oh look at this oh my god it's a lot of blood all right guys so now what we're gonna do we're gonna do the lying decline chest presses uh, what I want you to do guys to do is to put the resistance bands right behind your shoulders blade and make sure you keep it there uh, I want to make this thing a little bit harder, so I'm gonna roll the resistance bands around my fist once, all right? And now what I want you to do, I want you to press up, but right, try to go right on top of the belly button, squeezing your chest really hard because we're gonna work for your lower part of your chest, all right? Make sure you keep your shoulders down, keep your chest up, Head straight and now go up right on top of your belly button squeeze your chest go slowly down touch with your elbows the floor and come back <laughs> inhale on the way down exhale on the way up squeeze your chest really hard <laughs> very good inhale exhale Squeeze your chest, keep your shoulders down. intense so now guys we're going to do some horizontal uh, chest presses resistance band chest presses so for this we need the hook we need to hook the resistance band somewhere so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hook this resistance band right here on the handle of the of the door it's pretty safe and I'm gonna do the resistance band what I need for this I need the handles Right. So I'm gonna attach the handles, put the handles on, one by one. And uh, let's see, let's go. All right, so I attached the resistance band on the door. Now what I have to do, I have to grab these handles, make sure you keep the resistance band on tension. Put the resistance band on top of your elbow, top of your arms, right? 
And now do the lunges. You're gonna step forward, you're gonna do the lunges. You're gonna keep your chest up, all right? Move the hands back, keep the wrist straight. It's really important you to have the wrist straight. Don't bend your wrist, don't keep the wrist down here. Try to keep the elbows on the line with the resistance band. Don't go with your elbows when you go back. Don't go with your elbows down or up because you're gonna make a really bad rotation in shoulders and gonna hurt yourself. And try to bring the hands together right in front of you, right here. Squeezing your chest really, really, really hard, all right? So, let's go again. Keep the tension on the resistance band. Bring the hands together, squeeze your chest. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep the tempo. Inhale, exhale. For better squeezing, what I like to do is, when I'm going all the way down here, I like to move the fist inside, but now it's, it's kind of difficult because of the resistance band. If I'm doing this, gonna fall down. So let's try. Let's see if I can do it. Keep your chest up. Squeeze your chest. Keep the tension. guys that was my workout pretty simple push-ups resistance bands uh, nothing crazy a lot of uh, a lot of tempo slowly down slowly up a lot of push-ups uh, my chest is pretty pumped I'm pretty happy about it look at this and uh, if you guys enjoy my workout please subscribe and see you guys soon see you